Hi, this is Steve. I just wanted to share a uh, really interesting Sherry Boone Master's Challenge Jumpers course. She uh, was kind enough to let me share it with you. I don't have video of us running it, but let's talk about how I handled it with Flyer. There were a few different ways to handle it, but I'll just go over our approach. So here's the course itself. Let me zoom in a little so we can get the get it just fitting just on the screen here. All right, this looks pretty good. Um, so start out at the top right with uh, one to two. So I uh, took just a slight lead out uh, towards two release flyer. Did a front cross wrap. So we uh, turned this way to the jump. Uh, some folks did do, there was enough room to turn the dog right, which gave a little better weave approach, but uh, I didn't seem that was really necessary. I was able to stay, get Flyer in on the weave, stayed on this side, got a little bit ahead, and then pushed him to the end of the weaves. Then uh, it starts getting uh, into the tunnel. Then it starts getting a little more interesting in that you really need to get the dog out into the backside of five. So I, once I pushed him into the weaves, I pretty much cut, took a blind cross so that when Flyer came out of the weaves, he would, when we get the blind cross, I could then support him, push him to the backside, and then I just did the front cross over the jump and did a send, a forward send to this uh, next obstacle six here. This is actually the place where we had our first error, is I really didn't come very deep. I got the front cross turned and pretty much sent him from here, thinking that he would send and just wrap naturally, because he was on my left side and I was rotating to my right. But uh, Flyer didn't see it that way because I was late with my cues, so he turned this way, saw me starting to move, and then he just back jumped it. So he was a good dog. He read my cues. Um... But it was nice to get the blind and then the push to the back side of five. So then it's really just off to the races, push them around, support uh, nine. And then uh, it gets a little more interesting in that you really didn't want to get too deep into nine. You want to really just support it so you could get out here for the uh, supporting of ten. Uh, uh, for me, I was able to get up here just fast enough and I actually did a rear cross wrap on the takeoff side. I wasn't quite fast enough to get up there to get a blind and then a pull. So, so we take off, I took off running and got in here to pull, which is a regular old shoulder pull, pull flyer around from coming off that rear cross into 12 and then really I can't remember what I did at this point to be honest. Um, I think I wanted, uh, from, a pers from a dog's path perspective, turn him right around 13 to bring him back to 14 because it gave a little better line as we go to up towards 15. But I have a feeling, I seem to recall, I really just wrapped him to the near side because that was actually easiest for my path because I would come in, support what is effectively a slightly a backside there, pull up, pull him towards me, treat this just like a classic jump wrap so I get a nice tight turn at 13 and then I was uh, off to the races pretty much so I could get ahead of him, support 14 and then because the dog's path is pretty sharp to get up to the 15-16 throttle, I was uh, coming into this really gunning for a front cross uh, on the front cross line here to tighten up that line and get him turned towards 15 which uh, actually because I left him at 13 uh, with the wrap I was able to get up to 15 and get that cross then uh, this 15 to 16 is really a classic uh, throttle so I handle these uh, typically backwards as a jump wrap moving slightly forward send him then I just keep going down that line, so let me draw that a little better. So I'd show them up to 15, and then I'd start to move pretty much backwards through these, and Flyer's path would look like this. He comes over the wrap, 
wait for his head to come through, redirect him back over 16, treat this one also as a wrap, so because of the tight line to get him to 17, and then I'm still moving and come in here for really a classic front cross wrap over 17. So I think I was one of the few people who handled this with the dog on the handler's right to get to 18. So I got up here, after I got that wrap, I just kept him on my right, pushed him over, and there's a little, you can see there's enough room to get him uh, for the dog to turn right over 18 and so flyer just came around and into the end and for me it was really just show a little forward motion and then pull and go to get him into the end of the tunnel so this was just a great uh, course I really enjoyed running it and I uh, can't thank Sherry Boone enough for letting me share it with you guys if anyone has their own videos of this, let me know, and I'll post them in the article, too. Thanks for watching.